before you send them out yeah. to the West. We're going to get to the reason why you're here, which is, oh. of course, the Africa's next top oh. model. But before that, I want yes, to go touch go on ahead. something again okay. that was sort of interesting because I know you're very guarded with your emotions and, you, like you said, you keep your private life very private. But you had this recent tweet, like an outburst recently that shocked even me. Oh. And you said, <laughs> let me just quote something. You said, I am disgusted oh. by human behavior. <laughs> Money is not the root of all evil. Greedy humans are the root of all evil. Hopefully, I don't throw up soon. Bunch of ingrates. Bunch of inconsiderate animals. <laughs> what was this about? No, you, I, I, that's my I Twitter almost, account. I almost said... My Twitter <laughs> account is for me to express myself. Yeah, what was the problem? Freedom it seemed like speech. it was... Was but it a professional your, problem? You have your own Twitter account. Yeah. I'm allowed to say. Well, you're a public I want. Pers personality, so anything you say in that sort of a platform is going to be taken like. Listen, okay. I don't wake up walking around looking at myself as a public figure. I just think I'm just me, and I I'm, I should be allowed to just express myself the way I want to. But um, I, it was just one of those days. I had a bad day, and I just and yeah. I'm allowed to do that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's go on to the, uh, the reason why you're here, of course. Okay. Today is the launch of Africa's Next Top Model. Yeah. Finally. Finally. It debuts today at 6 p.m., I think. 6 p.m. West African time, yeah. 7 South African time, yeah. and 8 East African time. How did you get... This is such a major franchise. I know um, there's a German one with Heidi Klum. Yes. You are doing the African one. I think it's the only continental one. Yes, is this it? is the only continental one. How did you get, I mean, it seems like a major big deal. You know, um, I was initially approached to be the host of the show with a different production company. And that didn't fall through. You know, they couldn't pull it off. And I said to myself, I really want to do this. And like everything else in Africa, if you want something, my, my perspective is you have to go out there and get it done, which is exactly what I did. Um, I couldn't just be the host, so I had to be the executive producer. So I got the franchise and, and just put the whole thing together. Got a production company, got Mnet involved as our broadcasting partner. So it, it looks like a very tough order, though. I mean, going around the continent to look for girls. Were you excited with the kind of girls you found? Uh, it was in some countries, it was easy. In other countries, it was difficult. Were there a lot of turnout? Yes, a lot of girls showed up. Um, but we have 12 amazing girls from across the continent and they sh we shot the entire episodes. So I can't wait to see. I are you going to watch it? Can you give us like a sneak peek of what to expect? For on today? I mean... To on the season? <laughs> like who won? <laughs> no, I can't tell you who won. I would be giving away the show. If I tell you who won, I would be giving away the show. You can tell show. me, I won't tell them. Yeah, but they're, they're watching, they can hear us. Yeah. <laughs> um, a lot of drama? Yes, absolutely. Oh, what to expect on the show. There's a lot of drama, you know, obviously having girls from everywhere across Africa living together in one house, it's drama. Yeah. But it's a nice, I think, you know, some of the objective of this show is just to give them an the opportunity. Platform. Yes, absolutely. And also to train prove them, like exactly said. to prove that they can make it. But it also exposes like all the our uh, riches of African culture, all our many creative talents that don't get the sort of credit they deserve through mainstream television. And then it closes the fashion entertainment gap between Africa and the rest of the world. R keep in mind, this show has been done everywhere else. They've done. UK Next Top Model, Germany, China, yeah. Australia, you name it. So for me as an African young adult woman, I struggled with the fact that why can Africa Absolutely. have its own you know, Next Top Model? So we've worked really hard. I think the quality of production is extremely amazing. Um, and I'm, a part of me is nervous because it's going out today because I've worked on this for so long, like two years now. And then a part of me is also excited because I feel like Finally. Yes. What is, what's the winner? What's in it for the winner? She gets a one year modeling contract, which is worth about um, $100,000 with the agency that represents me in New okay. York. Oh, great. Yeah. And then we also give her some sort of cash prize, which is $50,000. Impressive. So it's not so it's not such a bad deal. Yeah, I, mean, I wish I got to change anybody's life. Exactly. <laughs> That's a lot of money yeah. for, for a girl in her early 20s. Great stuff. 
Um, so I'll be looking forward to watching it. But I just yeah. want to go back to something you mentioned earlier about you know okay. your body form and stain thing and all of that. Yes. What, are we going to see that? Is that because I know with Tyra's own, which is America's Next Top Model, yes. there's all, all sorts of body types and all of that. Did you do that? We with tried. Yours? We tried that when we were scouting. One of my intention was hoping to find a plus size, you know, model. Um, we found a couple, but you know, when you have to decide, will she be appropriate for this reality TV yes. show or not? That was a bit of a challenge. So we just ended up not having a plus size on the show. But that being said, hopefully there will be many other seasons and we'll give them that sort of yeah. chance. I, I know it's something that a lot of people talk about, you know, with the sort of body forms, African models are sort of different from what you find in Europe. And even in America, a lot of, over there is like, you have to be stick thin. Do you feel that pressure when you're there? I mean, I know you, you had a workout video once after you yes, gave birth and all of that. How much of a pressure is it? You know, to be this models way? are models. Whether you're African, you're Asian, you're Jamaican, you have to have a sample size. So I don't, this idea of Africans are built differently sounds like, you know, nonsense to me. If you're a model, you have to have sample size because designers make the sample size on your body when they go into mass production they do sizes for all Everybody, kinds yeah. of women yeah so so that's not you don't think that's the reason why africans haven't made it as big as their counterparts abroad not because of the way we are built when you say africans i th that sounds a bit confusing because we you know you have the african-american women as well they represent women of color so if you're saying i mean we have alekwek we have leah kebede yeah. You know, we have a man, and then there's a, a young generation of Africans doing extremely well as well. I can't remember all their names now. There's a Jack. I can't remember all their yeah. names. But there are a lot of African women doing well right Very now. So. so just remind us again, it says 6 p.m. today? 6 p.m. today. Okay, it premieres in Nigeria at 6 p.m. Yes. Channel 151 DSTV. Thank you very much, Aluti, for you. being here. You've that been was great. quite said, easy. You, because you are controversy free. And it's, so <laughs> an, it's so annoying. Like, I have nothing to dig into. <laughs> Don't <laughs> worry. You will never today. have anything to dig into. That's a good Thank thing, actually. So keep, keep, keep up the good work. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining us. As I always say, you can join the conversation on Twitter at TV is the handle and the hashtag is rubbing minds. Also, the website wynaja.com slash TV. Remember, you've never seen young people talk like this before. I'll see you next week.